as our WWE superstars are jockeying for position. Going into the upcoming pay-per-view event, we welcome you tonight to Monday Night Raw. Without question, one of the most anticipated episodes of Monday Night Raw in the history of WWE. Look into this card, I just gotta rub my hands together and smile. Don't move. Up next, we have singles action. Gonna settle the score. doing out here the superstar in the ring is expecting another opponent this is oh now i get it byron now i get it oh no no this superstar attacked the, the person who was supposed to be in this matchup and now making a beeline for the ring what a shame this is this isn't even the scheduled match oh. but we're gonna have a ball anyway yeah these two superstars we really can't stand each other and now we're seeing why Impact. What a stomp. Good grief. Hooked up. Oh, man, what a driver. Oh, nasty impact. Cena knew his career would change forever when he put on a rapper costume for SmackDown's Halloween party in 2002. But he showed he can spit rhymes and it worked to get the attention of his opponents. So the doctor of thugonomics was born. Hold on to your seats. We have singles action coming up next. We have one of the best talents on the roster to date, taking on some tough competition. It. Boom! 
The next match has all the men. We've seen some heartbreaking betrayals in WWE over the years, but Alexa Bliss insulting Nia Jax may be one of the most heartbreaking things we've ever seen. Yeah, you got that right, Michael. Nia Jax had Alexa Bliss's back ever since Bliss joined the Raw roster. They even had a seemingly stable friendship. But when Alexa thought the cameras were off, the world learned what Little Miss Bliss truly thought of Nia Jax. Going back to Nia Jax and Alexa Bliss, as you losers know, I'm not above name-calling, but some of the stuff Alexa had to say about Nia really crossed the line. Yeah, Alexa's words really sparked a fire in Nia Jax, who earned sweet revenge on the grandest stage of them all when Nia finally became Raw Women's Champion. That's how you wear down your opponent. Oh my goodness, this hurts! Oh! Just breaking down the opponent. Nicely done. Alexa Bliss looking a little stunned here. She doesn't appear too Damn. concerned, however. Well, there's still plenty of match to go here, guys. Unless something crazy happens, I don't envision this being the end of the road for her. Up in the fireman's carry. Slamming her to the mat. She goes for the cover. And there's a kick out in one. That would have been a shocker. Now the old vicious head crank. Look at the torque. Oh, continuing to punish them. Keep your eye on this one. Alexa Bliss looks to finish this one early. And she kicks out at two. She's still in this one. Nia Jax is the most powerful woman in WWE. And we've seen her dominate opponents without breaking a sweat. Hey guys, how do you prepare for the irresistible force? Nia Jax, it's some good technique right there. She is on fire. Man, she's rolling now. She's turning the tables. They ain't turned yet. Still got some work to do. You can see the confidence just beaming from her right now. Talking some more about strategy against Nia Jax. Corey brought up that an opponent might have an advantage if they can get inside. Oof. Insult to injury. This is all but over. But now can Alexa Bliss capitalize? Here she comes on the counter. We'll see if she can turn things around. Eludes that one. She better do something fast. Great power. Oh, man. That looks like it hurts. She can close the door here. Can she keep her down? One, two, three. I don't believe it. The match. 
match is over. Here is your winner, Nia Jax. They proved who the better competitor was tonight. That's a big win right there. Anytime you can pin another WWE competitor's shoulders to the mat for the three count, you should be proud. Social media has been buzzing over this Raw match ever since it began, and now that it's over, I actually anticipated intensifying. As we kick things off, we can bet Bo Dallas is going to attempt to get the WWE Universe believing in his victory here tonight. When I think of tag teams that can make a major impact on today's WWE, I absolutely think of these two teams. Ooh, what impact. Just punched him right in the mouth. Oh, Relentless. Oh. For many years, members of the WWE Universe and the WWE Locker Room have felt that tag team matches should have two referees. One referee is in the ring overseeing the action, and the other is located out on the floor, making sure teams follow the rules and do not engage in potentially damaging behavior. I think it's a good idea, something perhaps Mr. McMahon might want to consider. Byron Early raised a point that people have been talking about for years, and that's a second referee being appointed to tag team matches. I remember WWE Hall of Famer and former WWE President Gorilla Monsoon used to express his strong advocacy for two referees being appointed to tag team matches. Uh, it's something that's been talked about for decades, Michael. Ray Watt drives his opponent down with a Yurinagi. 
But he's got to capitalize now. What a stomp. Good grief. Now the old vicious head crank. Look at the torque. He's in trouble. He's fighting back here. I expected nothing less, Cole. Oh, boy, he is wrong. Well, hanging off for dear life. Oh, what a slam. Curtis Axel might be the cockiest superstar on the roster today. Sheamus might want to rethink this showboating. Surprising to me. This is damage your back. But is it enough to defeat Wyatt here? He's got him covered. And he breaks up the pinfall. Nasty impact. And you have to assume his partner is just itching to get in there right about now. Lightning fast reflexes. So feeling the heat now. I don't think he expected to be in this position here. It looks to me like he's really trying to carry this team on his back, which really isn't necessary considering he has a very capable partner he can tag in here. Oh, right to the back. When this guy's on, look out. Ooh, what impact. Look at this. No, he kicks out. Nicely done. Just needs to do more damage. Uh oh, beautiful technique. Can he finish the? Pin's broken up. I can't believe it. before somebody gets seriously injured. Oh! Ah, he's got that boot. Boom, what impact! Gaining 
needs some extra leverage here. Concerned for the rules. Didn't have to dig very deep to kick out of that one. How'd he do that? him out. What a fool. He had him dead to rights. Bo Dallas with the tag. Not the arm. Oh my goodness. Crushing it. Oh, come on, ref. Yeah, you can't let him get away with that. Not in a match this big. And he got a near fall out of it. Too soon. What a strike.
about time to roll the dice, Cole. To bed! That's how you put an exclamation point on the end of a match. Looking for all the glory here. Two! Gets the shoulder up loud. What's it going to take? Still in it. Curtis Axel makes the tag. Elbow drop, big time! Wyatt kicking some serious tail here. Uh-oh. Setting him up! Uh-oh. Just a debilitating neck breaker. Now the old vicious head crank. Look at the torque. Here we go. Ray Wyatt saying, oh my, impact. That might have done it, Cole. Wow, the referee might win. He's going for the pin. This could be it. Into the pay window. Nobody controls the pace of a match quite like this guy. Beautiful technique. Now Bray Wyatt, sister Abigail, delivered by Bray Wyatt. Wow, what a gritty performance. Now Bray Wyatt needs to capitalize on this opportunity. Boy, he's got him down. This is it. Two, three. And we have our winners. Whenever tag team is on the docket, the mayhem multiplies. Here's the proof. Man, oh man, look at that. He was on point the entire match, as you can see here. Here are your winners, Matt Hardy and Bray Wyatt. That was a big pinfall victory right there. That's a statement win, Michael. That's a win that says, hey, everybody, look at me. The arena is still buzzing over that great match. Looks like he's going to grace us with his presence once more. Here we go. This crowd obviously wants to know what's going on.
doesn't even begin to describe the blood between these superstars. They say pride comes before the fall. We shall see. There you have it, and I think that is loud and clear. Man, you can't fake passion like that. Well, I'm not sure if we can top that, but we will do our best as we move along with our program. Let's keep the action rolling along. If their love wasn't apparent during that entrance, the WWE Universe is firmly behind Finn Balor. Finn Balor is in action, and I can see a lot of Balor Club members here tonight. Byron, could you do me a favor and point them out? I just want to know who to avoid after the show tonight. Oh, nasty impact. You gotta believe this one's over.
Things not looking great for Finn nice. Balor. This could be the start Man. of an ugly downward spiral if he's not careful. I wouldn't call for the medics Ooh. just yet, Cole. He still appears to be in pretty good shape here. The good news for him is that he doesn't appear to have taken too much offense up to this point. Ooh. But that can obviously all change here. Confident, mysterious, and yes, a bit demonic. That's now that got those shoulders on the mat. Finn Balor quickly getting the shoulder up. Balor shooting out of that pinfall like a bullet. Oh, and a terrific reversal by Finn Balor. And a reverse DDT. There's definitely a confidence and mystery about the man who named himself after the Irish mythology warrior named Finn and a warrior King Balor. Finn can also be, let's say, a bit demonic at times. There's a quiet, cool confidence about Finn Balor. There's a mystery to this man who's been a champion everywhere he's competed. If anyone can relate to those things, it's definitely me. So much has been said about Finn Balor being the first WWE Universal Champion, but the challenge he overcame to gain that opportunity shouldn't be overlooked. Yeah, a week after the 2016 draft, Finn Balor's debut ushered in what was called the new era of Monday Night Raw as he beat the odds in a fatal four-way match before going on to defeat Roman Reigns. His shoulders are down. He's a long way from a three count, I can tell you that. Balor shooting out of that pinfall like a bullet. Reflecting on Finn Balor's main roster debut, Byron said they called it the first episode of the new era. I like to think it was because that was my first night commentating. Great job escaping, trying to turn this thing around. Oh boy, he is rolling. Superman punch! You have to like his chances here. I just can't get over the physicality of this match. This has been brutal. He's looking at it. Harsh impact. What a face buster. The Irishman has his Irish up. Ooh, what impact. Finn Balor never ceases to amaze. Look at that. What should Roman Reigns try to do differently at this stage to stay in this thing? He's always up. Down 19 16. Now it's time to capitalize. Shoulders on the mat. One, two. two. And he breaks the cover. He's making the Anawaii family proud, as usual. Finn Balor going high risk. Finn Balor perched on top. Here it comes. Coup de grace. Finn Balor never ceases to amaze me. He's going for the pin. Two. He kicks out before three. It's going to take more than that. That's how you wear down your opponent. So much damage to the neck. <laughs> oh, man! What a stop! Good grief! Finn Balor's in a world of hurt. He's absolutely running on fumes right now. Clearly, they're both running on fumes right now. And at this point, he thinks he has it! Two! He's got to be running on empty at this point. Yeah, barely. He has him right where he wants him. Uh -oh, damage to the body. There is no topple. He's got the shoulders down. Two! Gets the shoulder up. Wow. What's it going to take? 
He's showing the heart of a warrior here tonight. Not the first time and probably not the last time we'll hear from him. With him, you know this is going to be good. Let's listen in as he addresses the WWE Universe. Shh. We thought we might hear from him tonight. He's a man on a mission. Let's listen and see.
Always the aggressor and not afraid to show it, guys. A fan favorite. Not making any friends, but not really concerned about it either. One of the most popular superstars in the WWE, no question. that superstar. Did anyone else get that? Check your pulse, everybody. That thing may have killed you with boredom. Not exactly world-shattering, but I guess he tried. 